Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're back to Stone Block 2. I'm really, 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 really addicted to this so far. Doing pretty good. So, uh, this is going to be our new hub. If you look at the map there at the top uh, right, it's uh, a lot bigger of a room now. Uh, did these smeltery things on the sides. Uh, they're pretty big. They, uh, they contain like 1,200 ingots. Uh, oh, 200. That was 1,200. Uh, some of these were 1200. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I was looking at something else. But uh, yeah, they're pretty big. 200 ingots. I think it's still quite a bit. Of, this one's 400. Okay, so why is why are they different? 200. Why that one got 400 and the other one's got 200? They're kind of weird. Anyways, I'll figure that out. It's kind of weird. Anyways, um, <laughs> then I put all my machines on the side over here. Uh, we'll do something kind of like this. Uh, this wall, I think I'm going to save like for crafting, like the auto crafting for the, what system are we getting into here? Drew, uh, I think it's applied energetics, uh, energistics, EE. Uh, so we're going to have to get these, um, uh, the inscriber today. That's one of our projects that we're going to get uh, today. Uh, I put these lamps in the ground. Uh, I think they look pretty good, uh, even though there's like a little dark spot here. This is uh, still, if you look at uh, here, it's eight lighting. Uh, see in the top left, it says light. Uh, mobs don't spawn until they hit light level of seven, if I'm not mistaken. So eight, we should be good, even though it looks a little dark there. So uh, we should be fine. Uh, I haven't had any mobs spawn yet. Uh, pretty much like this all over the base now, all these little green lighting. So it's pretty cool. Uh, there's a few things I want to get into today. First of all, I think we're going to put in these, um, our climbing gloves into some use today and uh, go up and we're going to go and visit the two other dimensions that we have up there. Maybe, uh, mainly for the, the reason is I want to, uh, what the heck, I want to, um, I want to have flight. Yeah, that's the, the words I'm, I'm looking for. <laughs> so if we get the chorus fruit and we start like doing that, uh, that'll give us temporary flight for a little while. There's also um, another thing too we can also get into. Uh, this thing right here. This is pretty easy to make. We got feathers. Uh, we just need a little bit of redstone for that. Uh, here it's just gold and string. So like this is pretty easy. Then we just got to make... Um, gp all over the base uh which is grid power um there's all kinds of little setups for grid power uh come on uh grid power i wonder if that works like that no what if i go at no huh hmm uh gp here we go uh, extra utilities mix these things. So you have lava mill, you got a water mill, uh, a windmill, and a fire mill. The easiest one for us to do, and probably it's going to generate the most, well, the same amount of GP as all of them. I think they all generate the same almost, except for this one. Um, we're going to do these ones here is the water mill. And then we could just like do one of these all over the place and have our, our grid power and then we could maybe fly. So that's another option, but still, because it's also quests, um, in the first one is to go to the mining dimension and the end. I think we should do this. So I'm going to do that. You know, there was another thing I was looking at. What was this one? Uh, oh, I wanted just the normal auto sieve. Oh yeah. Well, that's just, ridiculous i made the other one anyways we're gonna go and uh climb up here but before we climb up there these climbing gloves um can fail because uh, you can run out of like uh durability on them so i'm going to put a bucket of water there so that way when we come down i have something to land into and i will not die so that's the plan that's the plan so i should be able to just climb up the wall like this and you see the numbers in the middle, there's 90, starts at 89, and it climbs up there uh, underneath the map. Well, that shows you your elevation. I think we have to go up to like, um, 
What's what's the Y elevation? Is it uh, 256, I think? Something like that. Anyways, we're going to go up and we're just going to dig up until we get to where we need to go. And that'll be the next dimension. Oh, 250. 250, 252. All right. Welcome to the mining dimension. All right. So it's kind of like what you would assume, right? Um, there's really nothing here other than, there we go. Other than like us mining more stone, right? So I did bring this with me. Uh, this is kind of cool. I like this, this thing here. So if we go and we hit V, you can see that at the bottom left here, there's uh, different dimensions you can mine. So we'll do, uh, I guess like this, uh, five by five thing and we'll just try to mine a bunch out very awesome very very awesome so you can mine out a bunch of areas like this really really quick <laughs> all right now we need to go up farther so uh, if we continue going directly straight up we should get to the next dimension which is the end dimension so let's give her all right so we're just about to the end now and there we go <clears throat> Now, I hope I don't die on the way back, though, because that's the tricky part. So now we're in the end. I can uh, do what we did earlier, too. I can put, like, this down, and uh, we can mine a whole bunch of stuff here, right? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. All right, so I filled up my inventory. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we should be able to go back now. And then you're wondering, well, how do you go back? Well, you kind of just dig down. Um, the only kind of crappy part about just digging down is... Uh, well, I don't know where I'm going to end up this time. <laughs> I, I could end up build, like making another tunnel down. Like... Because uh, you see, I'm not exactly in the exact same spot as I was last time. So I could do something like this. And uh, I, I don't know what the map button is. Is it M? I don't think so. But I don't know what direction the... I think just because we can just go straight down and hopefully we dig right into our base, right? Uh, well, actually, no. It would be into the other dimension. So this one doesn't matter, right? Yes, we are at 90. And if I go this way... We're back in our base. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty janky. I don't really like that, but whatever. It is what it is. That's <laughs> pretty bloody funny. Uh, then we'll just put that there. That's perfect. So we'll just let all those despawn because I kind of don't care. And then now we got all that crushed stone. Or, well, we got the end stone. So we'll just throw that there for now. Uh, all of this here. All right, so let's have a look at this together and see what kind of mesh we need to be using here because I just kind of threw all this stuff here at the moment. Uh, temporarily do this. Now let's check this out. We go R and then we go to... Uh, no, here. And then we go to meshes. So... um coarse flower and that's on a string mesh we'll get ender shards and ender lilies this is kind of what, what we want for um for the infinite flight thing there so if we eat that we can like fly other than using the i don't know these angel rings too uh these are ty other type of rings um anyways then we got our draconic dust. That's another thing we're going to need. And I'm not sure what the, what are these shulker pearls used for? Pearl block. Um, uh, let's get this. I'm going to sift this stuff. And uh, I guess I'll be back. And then we'll check out the results of what I get. So I just need a couple of chorus fruit. Really? I don't need um, that many because we can put it in. Oh, actually, look at that. We got it because <laughs> now uh we can put that oh i guess maybe i should have brought endstone 
but I should have kept myself some end stones, so I kind of screwed myself on that, right? Um, because that's all crushed end stone. Can I make end stone? No. All right, so eventually we'll have to go back and we'll have to get that. So it looks like I'm going to be doing the other mode. Um, what is it there? Uh, we'll be getting into these angel rings, I guess. Okay, so I think uh, what we need to get in today is now is uh, this because we wasted a lot of time so far. Um, now we're gonna have to make uh, flukes crystals. Now the way we're gonna make these crystals is you have to grab uh, one charged service quartz, one nether quartz, and one redstone dust, and you toss that into a puddle, and you're gonna get a whole bunch of this stuff. And then if you just sit there and throw all that in here, right? We'll throw in the uh, quartz last, or the uh, service quartz last. Now watch what happens. All this should transform and make all those wonderful purple ones. There we go. Now we have all kinds of this stuff. Shouldn't need uh, any for just a little while now. We should be good to do what we need to do. So um, there's a lot of automatic systems <clears throat> that we're going to want to set up today. Like uh, we're going to need many inscribers. Uh, and then you can make this one into an advanced subscriber, which is pretty awesome. So that's one of the things that we're probably actually going to have to do after we do the basic. So we're going to want a few of these. Um, that way we can automate them and we can set up kind of like a little bit of a production line because there's quite a bit of things that we have to do with these. <clears throat> and I was thinking maybe alongside this wall over here would be a nice place to do a nice little production line for these uh, inscribers, right? So with further ado, let's uh, get on with what we need in order to make these things. So sticky pistons, iron, and that, really. That's that's pretty easy. Oh, I should have clicked on uh, another one. Why didn't I do that? All right, so now we can just go like this, toss on uh, two of those, and we got some sticky pistons. That's freaking cool. So now we have our first inscriber. So we'll go and uh, just place it where there's power for now, right? Uh, yeah, right here will do good. Then we will auto extract. So in here, we're going to have to start making some stuff. Okay. Um, so we're going to need the uh, inscriber press presses. Uh, these things here. So in order to make these things, uh, I think there's only four, right? This is another type of press. Yeah. That's to make uh, the books, I think. Uh, that way you can do enchanting books. So we're going to need the uh, calculator. Oh, man. Uh, the calculator press, the inscriber engineering press, the logic press, and the silicone press. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the first one you need to start with is the silicone one. I don't think we made one of these yet. Yeah, because I don't remember making one of these machine frames. Tin gear. All right, so let's try one of those. We'll uh, we'll fabricate one of these uh, these thingamabobbers. Uh, do I have any more? And we now have ourselves an induction smelter. Yay! All right, so let's go over here. Toss this bad guy right here. Uh, always active. Always active. Always active. There we go. Now we can get some silicone popped in there. There. So now, um, we do this right here, right? And it said it wanted a block. Oops. A block of invar. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. I'll go over here. Put that there with one silicone. This is pretty quick. That's good. Bam. So if we check our awesome little chest here, uh, why is that coming out? Oh, wait, pause. Which is the purple one, which is fine. This yellow one. Awesome. 
So now if I turn it on, I shouldn't get any more of that. Okay, so induction smelter, where did my press go? Oh, did it? Oh, it automatically got thrown into here. Why? Okay. Um, I believe that is the bottom, right? So we'll have everything. All right, so let's just toss our three blocks of invar there. We'll start with the diamond one, I guess. Okay, what out? And then we got that. And there's the last one. Perfect. So now that we got all of our presses, that's uh, impressive. <laughs> okay, um, we'll remove these or we'll remove that. Um, we are going to start getting into these uh, other thingamabobbers. Uh, what were the quests here? So we may as well uh, grab some. And, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, really? <laughs> I just made one of those. Like. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's, that's really good. Oh, that's really, really good game. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll go claim this one. Okay, speed upgrades, those are nice. Uh, hoppers, those aren't bad. What do we get here? Another one of them. An Invar hammer, that's okay. For mining if we have to do any more. And those aren't too bad either. That's pretty funny. I can't believe that we got another one of those. That's... Ah, uh, that's dumb luck, eh? Like, that is really bad dumb luck that you would get one of those. But anyways. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now our inventory is pretty, pretty full here. I think we should start uh, getting rid of some stuff. These things right here, these logic presses. So we got a logic press. We have a engineering press. We have three other ones. There's supposed to be another one. Here it is. Uh, the calculator press. I think it's just the three of them, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pretty darn sure there's only three of them. Yeah, those are the three that we got to automate. All right, so we're going to need um, redstone, these printed silicone and printed calculator presses, which is pure surface quartz crystals. In order to get pure surface quartz crystals, um, Serious quartz, we can put those into an enrichment chamber, which we have, so let's do that. Uh, here we go. That sounds pretty good. And then we're going to need some redstone while we're here. And may as well, right? Then I said we're going to need some gold. Oh, that's not gold. That should be good for gold for now. Uh, and the other ones are diamonds, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamonds. All right, so uh, what have we done here? We got uh, this stuff crushed down. Uh, we made an elite enrichment chamber so we can put all the stuff in here. That will create the pure surges quartz that we need to make our little doodads here. Uh, we're going to need some gold and some of these and those. And 
So if we take these and put them in here, okay, it will create the printed silicone ones with the inscribed silicone. So we'll have a little batch of these. So I set this up so we can do kind of like a automated, uh, automated thing. For some reason, it's not pulling them. I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe it doesn't pull from the bottom. I'm assuming that's what it is. So so that's the inscriber one. And then we have the logic, which is gold. Uh, the engineering, which is uh, diamonds. I brought those by mistake. Uh, it's the diamond ones. And then the certus quartz, I think, is the calculated ones, right? Yeah. So um, I'm going to go and put uh, each one of these ones in here. And we'll uh, automate these until they're they're all done, right? And then I'll come back once I have all the, the different presses. And then we're going to get into how we combine them all to make the actual things that we need, right? And then we'll get into upgrading the inscriber to the advanced inscriber. Because you see it requires the engineer ones, a few hoppers and stuff like that, which is pretty cheap. But um, I think that's how we're going to be able to pull in and out from the top and bottom now. So yeah, anyways, I'll be back once we do all that. All right, so now we got uh, a couple of these printed uh, ones here. Uh, we're only gonna make uh, two of these. So if I'm not mistaken, we should just be able to go like this, right? Uh, printed, yeah, I want the printed one. Woohoo, there we go. Um, I'll go back to making more of these afterwards. Uh, hey, I said go in, no? How come that uh, is being pulled out like instantaneously? So, never active. Uh, oh, I just caught on. Okay, I just caught on. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, uh, the bottom, I guess, is, is the input here. Uh, the top would be the input for this one. <clears throat> And the front face would be the input for that one. So yeah, that's interesting. So now we can make another one because uh, we need two of these. Excellent. All right. So now we got two of those. We can uh, grab another hopper here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need any more of those going forward. All right. So what do we need for this advanced one? Just uh, four iron now. Uh, four iron. One, two, three, four. So, uh, we're going to have to take the old one. Pop. Excellent. Come with me. Now, we'll go over to the crafting table. And then, we'll make this one into the advanced inscriber. That's awesome. So now, toss that bad boy there. And then, we can go and do something like... Uh, I think this one's faster too, right? So, if we can go do something like this. I'm, I was... Just, I'm hoping, I'm assuming. No, what's going on? Why you no work? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, looks like the uh, power cable got, uh, got destroyed, so... <clears throat> All right, so let's uh, take that off. We'll put this back on and do something like that. Oh, maybe it can't receive power from the bottom. Oh, that's a possibility. So let's check that out. Um, or maybe it just can't take that kind of power. Do we have to use the energy acceptor? Energy acceptor. This thing here. Maybe we got to use this thing. So, uh, quartz glass. That's not hard to make. I think I have some. All right. So that's forty. That should be enough to make this here. Okay. So now we got the energy acceptor. That's good. Um. Let's take this and just uh, toss it here for now. Okay, so the power connects to that. That's good. 
so let's just take this out. Uh, really? All right. Awesome. And then if I go and I put that directly on, you see it works now. So yeah, I just needed a different type of power source. Um, now all the applied energy, it just sticks stuff. I go forth has to be kind of like plugged into this thing. That's how it's going to get its new power. So, um, these cables, you can make these cables. Uh, you got to make the quartz fiber, and then we have to go and make the uh, this here, right? Um, we don't have to have the machines directly plugged up to that. We can have the cable come off of this and be run anywhere afterwards. And then as long as the cable is touching this, we'll, we'll be fine. So that's going to be part of our new setup. Um, this can be automated in many different ways um one you're gonna have to have an automation for this uh another one you're gonna have to have an automation for all of these uh so it, it can be a quite a big big thing um making a fully automatic little process with all these chips um i don't know how i'm gonna go about doing that i think just wait till we do the crafters and have the crafters hooked up to like maybe some of those or something like that. Um, not quite sure. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, that's all for the future. Uh, what else are we going to do here? Because um, now we need to get into a few other things. Applied. So. Uh, what are we going to need here? We're going to need a crystal growth accelerator thing i'm a bobber i'm pretty darn sure um what else well what else is the quest book telling us to do okay so well that's exactly what i just chose that's pretty handy and then the other one is a growth chamber uh which is this one here, which is six of those. So I guess we were on the right path there anyways, when on what I chose. <laughs> so we're going to need uh, some ME cables, okay? Which is uh, what well, we, we already know how to make those. Those fluid blocks are with these things here. So we'll have to make... Uh, we'll have to make some of them. So I'm kind of glad I did what I did, right? So we'll grab some more of these. And then we just make one of these. Bam. So that gives us the quest. So what are we going to get for a reward? Uh, oh, those are pretty good. Those are very good. Very, 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 very good. All right. We'll end up using those uh, at one point. Oh, very nice. Okay. So um, the next quest is to get uh, this one here. And I believe you're going to need uh, six of these ones. So, yeah, it was six of them, a chest. So we need five more of them thingies, right? So can we make five more? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And then we do this. What do we miss? A chest and a hopper. Uh, do we have any more? We got a hopper here. Um, should have some wood somewhere here. One, two. That should be four pieces of wood, right? And then a chest. Darn good. All right. So now we got that one. Bam. Okay. There. Uh, 16 times speed upgrade. Not bad, not bad. Got all kinds of speed upgrades. Magical ones, and these ones are ultimate. Oh, these, I guess, are the better ones. The best ones, right? <clears throat> nice. Um, extra utilities. Uh, which one of those? Thermal expansion. Mechanism. Those are under I.O. I don't know which ones the other ones are. Um, let's see here. Now, what do we got to do? 
this thing does this this is probably going to need power as well so let's show you what these cables show you what i mean about them so we'll make some kind of like a little uh janky setup here like this just for now just for now okay just so everybody gets the idea of uh what's going on here so we'll put those there these we'll just keep putting there so now um we have to make uh seeds of some sort if i'm not mistaken uh me drive uh, let's see here no not at all not at all not at all so if i'm not mistaken you could take um something like this oh no not those ones can you how do you make the seeds let's uh service quartz seed so you can get sand to make the service quartz seeds and then you got nether quartz seeds fluus quartz seeds so it's just the dust and sand and you can make those and those will grow up to be the pure ones which i'm not sure how many you get but we're gonna try this out right quick because I'll go get more sand. Okay, okay, that should be pretty good. I'm going to have to grind down some of this stuff. Um, let's grind down like a half a stack, right? That'd be like a half a stack. So we'll grind those down. And then the other one was Cirrus Quartz and that. So if I grab a half a stack of those and those. So I get 64 of these seeds, right? So if I take 64 of them, I toss them in there. In time, these will grow up and they will become pure. So that's kind of cool. And then it's going to be the same thing with these uh, flukes crystals. Eventually, you just kind of like double the amount that you're getting, um, which is pretty good instead of using all the other resources to make the, the actual flukes crystals or whatever. I think you get more like this. So pretty sure you can grind down the uh, the dust as well or the, the other ones, like the pure ones. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. So we'll grab these ones, we'll grab those, and then we got uh, 64, so we doubled them, right? So there, now we got uh, pure service quartz ones, so I'm pretty sure if we say we grab 32 of these, we could throw those. Oh, those don't work in you? Nope. Ah, huh, that's interesting. It's very, very interesting. I didn't think about it, I didn't know that. All right, so you can't grind the pure ones down. You can only do it from uh, from the other ones. Huh, interesting. You learn something every day, man. You learn something every day. So, um, what's next on our list here? Oh, I said the ME system, right? Um, yes, perfect. So, we'll at least do that, the ME drive. So, I seen there was iron in there, right? uh engineering processors i didn't make any more of those did i or did i i did so those are those um so we got our engineering processors we just need two and what else cable perfect all right so let's go and make uh our me system right quick uh bam so I was thinking about the uh, placement of these things because um, I want to be able to see uh, how full our system is like over time and everything. And I was thinking about putting them like here. So oh, I guess we can just uh, maybe toss that there. Yeah. That's good. Now I'll see if I can go up higher. There we go. So I was thinking about putting like 
them here like this, right? And then having a few of them go all the way around. And then when you put your discs in them, right? Well, from the outside, you'll see how full your system is just by kind of like walking around. So that is that. We will claim the reward, a water candle, kind of useless. Um, I think they, yeah, increase nearby spawns. Yeah, I don't really want to increase spawn limits of anything, so that's fine. Um, now we're going to have to get into making uh, the discs. So we have 1K storage, and then we got fluid storage. We won't really worry about fluid storage just yet because we're, like, not dealing with that. So, like, once we get more um, items, then we'll we'll complete this quest line right here because uh, we don't need it right now. The one that we really need to focus on here is the, uh, the item storage. Our goal is to get to the 64K one. It's a grind. I uh, I won't uh, I won't lie it is a grind so if we go and we look at this right uh, we will put that here like that um, and then we're gonna look at this 1k the 1k is uh, charged surge quartz pure surge quartz or surge quartz with uh, redstone and your logic presses uh, that's cool that's good right so that one can be turned into a 4k so you're going to need three of those 1k ones and a calculator press will turn it into a 4k so right there you need four of these just to make one of these okay then going forward um you're going to need to make a 16k so you're going to need to make uh three of these 1k ones in order to make one of these and then same thing when you get up here now you get to the 64 you need three 16k ones in order to get up here using the calculator press as well uh the one prior to that one was the calculator press so you're going to need a lot of these calculation presses processor ones and the logic processor ones in order to make your way up to um up to the 64k here right so yeah that's quite the grind so i'll probably do that off cam um and that's that right so uh i guess today we're going to call that a an episode because that's quite a bit we got uh, into the a little bit uh, into the ae system today so we got a start to doing crystals um we got uh, our advanced inscriber going so that way we can make these things a lot faster um what else we did we went to the end and the mining dimension which uh, i'm gonna fix that up uh, later at a later date and we'll um we'll get a better teleporting system to go back and forth up there and that's about it so i would have liked to get into some of the chickens today too but uh, we kind of ran out of time so i didn't get to do the ones i wanted to do uh but that's fine um kind of got wrapped up into all of this right so but that's cool man i hope you all enjoyed the episode like subscribe and we will see you next time